You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. And this is Dead Left Schlich, and today we dive into the unexpected, exciting, deep ocean of the creative mind together with um, Mike or... Michael Elliott. I'm looking so forward to uh, to speak about uh, a lot of things with him because uh, it's really he is he is author. He he's DJ. Uh, he used to work uh, a long time as as radio manager and 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 broadcast and and for 30 years uh, for all the American broadcasts regarding Americana and and and. But we will we will get to that uh, soon. Uh, first of all, um, uh, first of all, hi Mike. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I care about Mike or Michael. Um, it doesn't matter <laughs> whichever you want to call. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think so, so. So I just explain the audience how, how we're gonna proceed the next three episodes. Uh, um, we start in the first episode, like always, introducing my my guest of conversation or talk guest, um, which is. What nice is always, I think, for the European uh, podcast listeners as well, is to get a clue between the the American culture and the European culture, and and as well, I mean, uh, uh, um, since I have the podcast, it's great because I learn more and more about the diversity about America as well, which is actually a part of Europe. So, I mean, uh, um, if we if we want it or not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, which. Which which is which which is great, you know. So so and and so I would say the first part is about the upcoming upcoming of, of Mike. The second part we're gonna go deeper as well into into a thing because he wrote a um, um, biography. Uh, actually, the first bio biography about um, a singer songwriter from from America, John Hyatt, uh, who is actually I don't know. So I mean, he's as well quite famous in in in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And he wrote as well a lot of songs for a lot of of different different pop stars. I think Tina Turner maybe as well, but I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me. But but we will go deeper into that later as well. So so that's the second part, and we we speak with Michael uh, about the process actually. So so how how are you gonna work on a biography if you want to write one? Because maybe that is interesting for people as well who would like to write a bi biography. You. Know? about themselves or whatever you know so and then we're probably gonna go with the flow and and come as well in, into the uh, diversities in, in singer songwriting uh, in um the american culture and and, and the european culture and then and so i'm looking forward for the next three episodes mike great just let's start <laughs> so you are uh, that's quite an introduction in... i'm trying i'm gonna that. <laughs> you you um you live in NC, North Carolina, really. Are, are, are you born there or what? Yes. Uh, probably, uh, I listened to the podcast you did with Terry Anderson, which was great. And, yeah. And a lot of that background is, is similar to mine. Uh, a lot of his, I, I, was, I was born in a, a town called Durham, North Carolina, um, which is probably, uh, well, depending on the way the crow flies uh, 30 20 to 30 miles from raleigh north carolina uh but i which is the capital city of the state but i grew up in oxford north carolina which is about 30 miles north of of durham and raleigh um yeah so uh it was a very rural community um the town probably had you know a thousand or so people in it uh, when i was growing up how many about a thousand um, and, and now? Uh, probably now about 10,000 or so. Uh, okay. So it's, it's grown, maybe four to 10. <laughs> I don't live there anymore, but uh, uh, I think the entire county that it's located yeah. in is about 40,000 people. So, 
So you see, that, that is quite interesting, but w because what I see is that, that the population, the American population from, from, from places like this is really zero. So, so in, in, it grows in, in 50 years or 10 times, you know, whereby if I, if, if I compare that to Cologne, for instance, you know, so we started, uh, uh, we, we used to be in, in, a, in the 60s, uh, uh, a million population city, and it didn't change so much, you know. It's right. So, That's so right. and even even here, I I mean, I don't know how how it is in Bali or, or or in West Cork. I mean, West Cork, I think West Cork, we we say here, total in total as well, probably forty thousand people. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a, so, it's a small town, yeah. So, but yeah, so so so, what is? What, are you gonna visiting sometimes uh, people over there in in? The place where where you're from? What was the name again? Ox Oxford, North Carolina is where I was and where I grew up. Yes, Oxford, Carolina. Yeah, Oxford, just like in England, uh, like the like the university yeah. the town over there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you still have relatives there? Oh yes, yes. Uh, I, I well, um, my my in laws live there. Uh, I don't have many. I don't have any relatives that live in Oxford anymore, except distant relatives. They live more in the county, but they most of them have all moved away. The only ones still there are, are uh, you know, they they are my my. I think of my uncle uh, half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he still lives there. He's in his uh, close closing in on ninety now. Uh, he and his wow. live up there. So yeah, um, but but most people um, they they'll. They'll move elsewhere once they they grow up. Uh, some some stay there, some move away. It's your typical small town type of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, that's, that's here actually. No, no. I mean, the Irish the Irish culture is different because the young people they they they, they all they they move out. I mean, to to America, Australia, Germany, <laughs> whatever you know. So that's that's here very different. But you have a lot of people. I mean, I live here really at the end of the world. That means uh, 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 behind that comes New York, you know, something like that, you know. They, so, um, so. the Irish have, have have moved over here for quite a long time. I'm I'm Scots Irish myself. My my mother's Irish uh, lineage. My father's is it? Yeah, my 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 father's Scottish Irish. Uh, Scots, sorry, Scotland. Uh, my dad's name right. was Larston. So there was a, it's a big Scot Scottish name over there. I think there's even a castle uh, with his name on it. Uh, and, and, and of course, Elliot is a Scottish thing. And, uh, but my mother was a tally. Uh, so that's a, a, a big Irish uh, name going. And so I got a little of both. <laughs> All right. So, so um, and when did they came over to, to America? Do you know that? Oh, uh, my family has been living in Granville County, oddly enough, since the uh, at least the early 1800s or before that, probably 1700s, uh, because they were part of um, Forsyth County in North Carolina. But Forsyth ended up becoming Granville County. So they've been over here mm. since before uh, the revolution. Um, mm. they, they moved over here and, uh, built, a uh, land and, uh, well, built a house on a land, on piece of land that we still own part of anyway. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's, it's, it, we're, we're part of the original, <laughs> original settlers, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, that 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 sounds sounds quite exciting somehow. So when are you when you're gonna go back to your place to to formerly one thousand people and now ten thousand people? Oh, well, we go quite regularly because it's still only about you know um, uh, thirty minutes from our house. So we go back uh, to visit uh, my wife's um, parents and, mm. and family. My fa my wife's family is large. I'm an only child. I'm a third. Uh, my son's a third generation only child, but my mo my wife is one of uh, she has many siblings. She has two siblings, but uh, a large extended family. Let's put it that way. Uh, our Thanksgiving uh, holiday, we have probably fifty people just in one house, uh, just eating. <laughs> not too bad. So do, do 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 some of them coming from Ireland over there as well? No, nobody travels that far, but they they come from all around the state uh, and 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 enjoy and some of them come up from florida we have a, a, a couple of relatives that live down there 
down in Monty Land. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, the amazing thing here on islands as well. So, I mean, Ireland has now a population around 4 million and uh, somehow it's everyone related to everyone. So, so uh, <laughs> that's probably, that's probably uh, why, because uh, uh, the politicians used to be, I mean, I mean, I think it's getting better but since, since Ireland is in the EU. I think there is a little bit more control mechanism, you know, so, so that's more, more, more transparent politics and, 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 you know, but um, I mean, uh, there used to be, I think 50, 60, 70 years ago it was very different. Everyone was just working for, for his own tribe, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I understand. Somehow. Uh, but there was, you know, we've had, um, we, we've had quite a, a lovely time growing up in, in North Carolina. We ha it's a beautiful state and, and, uh, yeah. wife and I both grew up here. Um, and we've, we've traveled, but, uh, you know, we, we still call North Carolina home and we still live here and we've never lived anywhere. Well, she's lived in, uh, my wife, Liz has lived in many pl places. She lived in, uh, Alabama. Uh, she's lived in Hawaii, um, and, and all around. Um, uh, but I, I, I've lived here my whole life. So <laughs> I mean James James Taylor wrote a song so doing the Carolina in my mind. So yes. I can yeah. That yeah, well. he still comes he's um he grew up in, in Chapel Hill. Uh his dad was uh, a medical he, he was the head of the medical school at, at UNC and, and but then, you know, he would split his time between Chapel Hill and Massachusetts. Uh so because uh, his mother didn't want him ingrained, uh, have too much of that, um, I guess, hillbilly culture. In <laughs> like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. And, and, and yeah. even though Chapel Hill is the least hillbilly town there is in North Carolina. <laughs> How, I mean, yeah, I can't imagine that. But how, how did you get along with 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 this illiberal culture? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, there <laughs> there's still a bit of that around, and it, it depends on if you if you get out of the urban areas uh, in, in 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 Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, the Triangle, and then down to Charlotte. Uh, uh, but if you get away from the large urban areas, you, you're bound to run into a little bit of that. Uh, but you know, it's 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 more of a it's it, it's it's people. You can find great people anywhere you go. You'll find uh, sure. I know. We'll, the in the rural areas, there there. Uh, I grew up with people who would break their back to help you. They would bend over backwards. They would do whatever it takes to get you out of a ditch. These might be people that you wouldn't want to associate with every day, but in a pinch, uh, they would be there to, to help you out. And then <laughs> you'd probably yeah, feel bad yeah, about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. but, but there, it's just some, some great people. Now, of course you, you'll run into, to bad apples wherever you go. Uh, and, and unfortunately yeah, bad that's... apples can spoil the whole bunch as they say. So, um, but yeah. Yeah. you know, I've met, I've met, horrible people in rural areas. I met horrible people in urban areas, but great, <laughs> but great people on both sides as well. Uh, but well, I didn't mean, let, let's cut that part. I don't want to do what Trump said. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 he said, what, what, he said that there are great people on both sides and I definitely don't want to quote him. So that, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so we, <laughs> It is. Oh, there are, I don't mean on both sides. What I meant was, <laughs> okay, yeah. let's start over yeah, yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when when <laughs> we talk, we're when we're talking class, we're talking yeah. you know, upper class, middle class, lower class, and that's more of a yeah, yeah. And 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 when we uh, and there are, um, you'll find wonderful, wholehearted, very nice people in each class that you go to and, and is no, you know, it, it doesn't matter which class you come from. It's what's in your heart. It matters. That's what I believe. And so, uh, and no, 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 no. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm the same. I, I think I, I didn't, I didn't misunderstood you as well. I didn't <laughs> cut you wrong. I mean, <laughs> I mean but, but I look, uh, the thing is if, if, if it comes to, to, to talks or discussions, uh, 
or criticizing um, the, the, the societies and the middle class higher and lower. It's here the same, you know. I mean, if, if I use this, these terms, you know, that you find always people who say, oh, no, we are just one society and uh, there are no classes. And, and the funny thing is often, you know, so this, this are the, 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 the most spoiled middle class people at all, you know, so who, yeah. who, who, who say they know there is just one class, but I mean, it's, it's super critical. It's not true. You know, we have, we have the lower, the middle and, and, and the, mm -hmm. and the, and the upper class. So, each, each so. one, each culture and each group of people can learn from the other. And that's what makes us great. And I, I don't believe that we should all, I don't believe we should look at ourselves as a, uh, a, 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 a mono genre or mono group because, because it, it, cultures feed off each other and, and we're all the better for it. I mean, you know, otherwise, thank you. It, yeah. We'd just be listening to the carpenters all the time, you know, which. <laughs> we, yeah. It, thank you very much, Michael. I really, I really appreciate that. You know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, because no. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I mean, I just, I just, I, I have that. I did a lot of research in, in, in this book. It's, it's uh, maybe, you know, that the name is tribalism. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, it's about the evolutionary origins of fear politics, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's really a very good one because it's from a psychologist, uh, from, from New York, I think. I'll have to check. Um, I can't. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I mean, I, I, uh, it's, it's, and it's really, that goes back to, to why, why, um, why, uh, why we are so affected from, from, from things regarding tribalism, you know, like, like Trump, uh, uh, was trying to, 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 to establish, you know, I mean, if, if, for instance, if it comes to, 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 to rape, you know, how far this goes back, you know, so this, this goes, this goes back to, to, to tribalism, to, to one tribe tries to, to, to weak the other tribe in order to, 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 to bring the genes into this, this, this other persons, the other, the, the women, the, the tribe and, 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 you know, and this book, um, this psychologist is, I think in New York, uh, um, is running a non-for-profit, um, a mental health clinic. And he's working already since 30 years in, in stress research, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that, that's, that's regarding, I mean, this is so manifested, this, this, this believing that, that one tribe is right and the other tribe is wrong, isn't it? Yes, uh -huh. it is. It is because no, no one group is right and no one group is wrong. I mean, it, we're all, we're all individuals first. And so we all have our own yeah. opinions about things. And I think one of the problems we're running into in the last few years is that we have gotten into a tribe think. We've gotten into a, a, a group think where instead of just thinking for ourselves. This is wherever you get your news, wherever you, if you live, you want to be in an echo chamber where your opinions are challenged i think that's a dangerous place to be and it's we we've, we've seen the the outcome of that recently so we we, we should really and i think it's think. Very, it's very it, i see yeah, I, I think it's it's very difficult to 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 repair that as well you know absolutely it needs a lot of talk a, a lot of discourse and 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 you know yeah, we need. I mean, discussion. We need a dialogue. We're not just a monologue between people. We need a dialogue. We need people need to listen as well as talk. Absolutely, you know, it's because my fears really. I mean, and that's going on here in Europe as well. You know, I mean, we had the last elections used to be there, and and uh, the the AFD. Uh, that means the, the the national party. They had already ten percent in, in 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 the government in Germany. You know, which is quite a lot. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, if, if things like, and even in the in the in the EU Parliament, they're in then you know. So and if things swapping over too much, you know, I'm really I'm, I really don't want to be part of that shit. You know? No, 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 no. So it's worldwide. It's a worldwide I issue that, that we all need to. You know, sometimes you feel like you're waking up and you know, like, what, am I the only sane person around here? You know, so, uh, but but we're not. We're, there there are a lot of people like uh -huh. us. There are a lot of people that have the same same thoughts as we do. But and I believe people, pe I believe people all have the best intentions in mind without sounding, you know, too um, uh, too completely out of tune. But I I, I do believe that people, you know, everybody thinks they have the right. Uh, 
way to think. So I think if they just, um, hang on one second, hang on one second. Yeah. Said that part out. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> my my wife is here, and I just wanted to yeah say goodbye to. She her. wants to say hello or what? She's going. She's going off to work, so I wanted to. Uh, all right, just give her all all the best from me. I will. And and uh, is she gonna, come on over here? Stick your finger. Yeah, this is the lady yeah, I dedicated just, just... the book to. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you guys have fun. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, bye. Love you, man. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not editing that. I'll leave it in, you know. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm proud of it. I want to show her off whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a lucky guy, I'm, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm going to show her off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. That's great. <laughs> And and we, and dear listeners, you can see that uh, um, then the next Sunday, ten o'clock early confession on YouTube as well. You know, oh, great. So, that's, uh, so so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show this this talk always one week later on YouTube. You know, so I mean, first of all, the podcast because it's still a podcast and not a not a TV show. You know, my wife <laughs> would like early confession. She's a Catholic, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so she 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 will find the time to switch on already at ten o'clock. That's great. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, no. I mean, uh, you see, and that's the thing with my podcast. I'm so happy that that I that I that I meet uh, uh, so many likewise people. You know, so, so and because sometimes if you live in so far a remote like I do, you know, I mean, um, it's two kilometers to the main road. And then eight kilometer between two villages, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and 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 this, you know that 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 um, people people thinking is that what what the people's culture is that what 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 the sur surrounding is doing, you know, and and we have a lot of lot of people living here off grid, you know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I can understand that sometimes, you know. So I, tr I still try to understand how how, the, how these conspiracy theories are, are develop and, and 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 progress, you know. And and uh, I mean, there are a lot of people that they, they think we are, we are all lizards, and and Hillary Clinton is a clone, you know. <laughs> I think I think people probably <laughs> gravitate toward conspiracy theories because they just want something to either reinforce their beliefs or they want to feel like they 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 probably there's a part of them that want to feel like they're in on the know and other people aren't uh but maybe it's just another way for them to uh escape their um they're maybe they think that this can't be the best there is and maybe there is a way uh that they can explain things that they can't explain you know everybody wants a reason yeah. for everything and absolutely and it isn't a yeah reason. <laughs> yeah yeah ab absolutely so and that, that that's actually a good example because because um i mean i can't understand that somehow because we 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 artists we creative people um we all try to escape sometimes even in, even in in writing or in singing or or in painting you know absolutely and uh and i think this conspiracy theories uh this this narrative this conspiracy narratives they they they, they are part of the culture now too i mean they used to be Probably since since we have a consciousness already part of 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 the culture, not just in a in a glitch like this where 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 you're not really able to 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 communicate proper on a proper way with people, is it easier that 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 things like this can can grow like like mushrooms in a in a uh, black forest? You know, it does because of the internet so, uh, because it, it can grow now faster than it ever could. It used to be where it would just yeah. grow uh, word of mouth, but now word of mouth is connected globally and and, and immediately. I mean, so um, uh, you do, you don't have the advantage of having it uh, take a while to get to you before, and you know the truth before it gets to you. Now, no, you you know the conspiracy before you get to the truth, but with the with the speed that things are going. So. You're yeah, right, right. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but even 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 the things now is fact checkers, you know, or fake checkers, you know. So, I mean, uh, yeah, fake checkers. I like that. All, <laughs> uh, all, 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 all in a sudden, you have one hundred thousand fake checkers, you know. So, so, and, and uh, it's it's really. I'm sometimes I'm really thinking about that. How can you get get 
how can we get out of the situation? But there we, we're going to go again to back to the tribalism, you know, so everyone yes. has to, to switch on his, his opinions a little bit and, and shouldn't, shouldn't uh, get too much influence from, from, from social media and, 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 you know, so re research a little bit more. And I mean, research is quite, it is quite time consuming, I must say, you know, but, but if you, if you learn a little bit to research, um, that's to the listeners as well. You learn as well to 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 build up your own opinion, and 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 probably maybe you lose as well a little bit anxiety too. You know, I don't know. Well, I think to to play into the the conspiracy thing, uh, investigating that a little more with the create. You brought up the creative mind of the creative people, and I think that there is a there is a need for people to look behind the curtain. There's a need for people to know why things work and, and what the reason behind some things are, why things are made, especially like, let's take songs, for instance, uh, people, uh, yeah. a creative person will write a song. It might just be what he's feeling at the moment. He or she is feeling at the moment. Uh, they might want to express themselves in a certain way that has nothing to do with anything other than maybe these words sound good together. Uh, I know I've, I've written a few songs in my life and I think the, 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 yeah. I've, I've wanted the words, the, the words sounded good together, but I didn't have any underlying meaning behind it. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. people don't want that. They want to know, they want the dirt. They want to know why these words were written And, and there must be some deep meaning behind them. Well, sometimes there's not. And and so that goes with uh, conspiracy theories, too. Sometimes what you see is what you get. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. so it's no more than that. I, I remember Van Morrison being asked one time about Brown Eyed Girl. And he said, you know. Yeah. The, who was the brown-eyed girl? He said, there wasn't a brown-eyed girl. I just, <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good in the song. <laughs> it fit the meter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's fortunately the freedom of, of poetry, isn't it? Right, you know? exactly. And, 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 well, I mean, this was, was painted the same, but, I mean, if it comes, for instance, I mean, I, I, I have as well, my background comes as well from singing, songwriting, and, and, uh, Uh, so I, I actually eventually so I, I made everything what 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 you can do in creativity. I think I was going through that because I like it to bring things together, mm -hmm. you know. That's, that's And um, I mean, I, I I studied very quite late, 2012 actually, visual art, you know, here in mm -hmm. Ireland, you mm -hmm. know, and and learned. I mean, because and learned how to research and 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 you know because bef before that i mean it was more, not not randomly but more 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 intuitive you know and and you you really you you you, you probably you know that uh, uh you, you you learn how to how to how to research and how to make your art stronger you know so even if it comes to um phenomenological uh, issues you know so so where things First of all, it doesn't make sense where things are coming from, from an instinct. You still need somehow to research your, your background. And I've learned a lot about myself in this time, you know, so which is unbelievable. Absolutely. So, and you get the discipline. You have to get the discipline first. But after that, it's, it's um, Katie bar the door, as we say here in, in, in the South. It's just, you know, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Whatever, you know, anything goes. Uh, but you have that background and discipline to to build your art upon, whether it's visual, whether it's audio or, or, you know, any kind of creative thing, but, um, you just go the way you feel and, and that's when the best art is made. And, and it could be, uh, you know, th these colors look good together or these words sound good together, but, um, you know, it could be no more than that. Trial and error. I'm a lot of trial and error, you know, and I, th I learned the more trial and error you're going to do, uh, The more you, you you can choose, but 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 then you you really you 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 find as well more an idea to make the right decision. Or I, mean, I haven't said that if you don't have the time and if you if you see with you you take just the first and say, wow, that's it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I mean, and, yeah, yeah. But but normally, I mean, I'm currently I'm working on on a on a new on a new T-shirt design. It's my old one here, and uh, I'm already have now 10, 20 different different thingies you know so to to choose and i still can't stop so now actually comes you know uh, 
it's so time consuming. Then you know that as a, as 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 a writer as well. But we come to that in the second or third probably. So you know, there is sometimes. I mean, I used to be scriptwriter as well, and and there has to be sometimes really a moment when you say stop. This is now the dialogue. You're not changing it anymore. You know, and right? That's that's the deadline eventually. Oh, know? I do believe there should so. be a frame. There should be a, a a limit because people when you're working without limits. Oh, that's uh, then, then you, you'll never stop. But a limit puts it forces you to stop. It forces <sighs> you to say, "Okay, this is a deadline. This is a limit." And and I, but I can be as creative as I want within these limits. Um, that 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 I think that's what makes the best art. Absolutely. So I don't I don't know. So so how? Okay, we already we already had a chat. Th Thirty minutes now. I mean, that, <laughs> time flies, but it's 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 mad. I mean, mm, so what, <laughs> what I suggest is because I still would like to know more about you growing up. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, so we're gonna do that. Um, dear listeners, we're gonna do that next week. Okay. Sunday, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock early confession. And we, when we learn more about uh, Michael Elliott's, uh, life, uh, uh, in the, in the suburbs of, of Raleigh and, uh, and um, what I'm going to do is I put the link of your, you have a website, it's Michael Elliott, isn't it? It's michael-elliott.com. It's two L's, two T's. Uh, michael-elliott.com. Michael Elliott, michael-elliott.com. That's correct. Um, uh, social, social media accounts? Yes. Uh, yes. You can find them on my website. Uh, they're up in the upper right corner. So. Link uh, y'all Instagram somehow as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. What what is Instagram? Uh, it's at Mike J Elliot. Yeah, that's it. All right, it's because uh, Mike uh, he his last work is actually the the, um, the biography of of John Hyatt, and and the, the name of the book is uh, Have a Little Faith: The John Hyatt Story. Yeah, and have a little faith in me. Have a little faith is a song from John Hyde. And That's right. Actually, I love to sing this. Have a little faith in me. <laughs> Just to have a little faith in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I loved it. You know, That's pretty good there, man. <laughs> yeah, my man, I, I had my bands, my punk rock bands, and, 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 you know. Just have a little faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, do, do do you want to add anything in the, in the, in the first episode? Um, or well, listeners? yeah, and I, you know, we can uh, we'll talk about. Uh, I definitely want to talk about the book. I want to talk about um, you know maybe a little bit about my radio career, a little bit about growing up. Not much to talk about there. Other than that. in my book, in the introduction, there's a lot about my musical love, uh, love of music growing up. Um, and and so you know people can get the gist of that from there but uh yeah grew up in a small town and, uh, and I, I i was a tobacco I prime tobacco um which i don't know if you know about that but that's um uh, you know that was a part of building character <laughs> i can imagine that so so we're gonna go in that in the second part a little bit more deeper that, that, that would be great um I just have to mention as well, so my part, because, uh, so my, um, address attitude.com. I mean, if you want to support this podcast, it is, a, it is a, it is a, a, a listener supported podcast. You can go to attitude.com and you can get your, your marks. Actually, Mike Elliott will is now, congratulations, Mike, you are in the hall of Attitude. Oh, I'm touched. Yeah, which is, which is, I will make three max of you. Part, first episode, second episode, third episode, and they come as well into my attitude shop. Um, I'm gonna do probably with that later on, on another project with all my, with all my, my talk guests. So they all coming into this, this hall of attitude, which is great. I really love it, you know. And, um, yeah, so dear listeners, you can buy that if you want. You can buy Max. You can buy merchandising like like my T-shirt. I'm just working on a new one. I work. Um, um, I have actually here. I'm adjustment. <laughs> I can wear it now. Uh, I started already with 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 my with my dad hats. Uh, stress dad hats is the name. So uh, that's 
the merchandising hell, I call it. Uh, a way how artists have to make money nowadays as well. So. Oh, yeah. Attitude.com or Instagram at Detschlich or at Attitude on Instagram or I love Westcock artists or, or Michael is as well a member of. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you, you can find us on social media everywhere. And on that note, I would say, um, dear folks, have a lovely day. Lovely rest day, and uh, we see us next Sunday, 10 o'clock in the early confession. Bye. Bye, Michael. Bye. See you next week. Yeah. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion, and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah. That was too close. Ha, 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 ha.